Buenos dias y bienvenidos. Aquí estamos. Good morning. Welcome once again to Tiempo. I'm Joe Torres. This morning, we're going to tell you about an ambitious new education plan at Lehman College in the Bronx aimed at doubling the number of degrees by the year 2030. The new, and by the way, Latino president of the school recently unveiled the plan, and we'll talk to him all about it. That's coming up in just a few minutes. Welcome back to Tiempo. Lehman College has a new president, the third president in Lehman's distinguished history. The new president, Latino, born and raised in Puerto Rico, a man from humble beginnings. Well, he just unveiled an ambitious new education plan aimed at doubling the number of hard-earned quality degrees by the year 2030. He's dedicated his career to social equity and expanding educational opportunities for those less fortunate. What a pleasure to have with us this morning here on Tiempo, Jose Luis Cruz, president of Lehman College. In on the job now for más de un año, right? I mean, how... Catorce meses. Catorce meses. Yes. How's it going? What, what have you learned so far? Oh, I have learned that Lehman College is exactly what I expected it to be. Yeah. It is a uh, wonderful, I mean, well-known, important anchor institution in the Bronx mm -hmm. from an artistic perspective, sure. a cultural perspective, educational. It's a jewel. Uh, it is, it is. It has a long history of propelling low-income students into the middle class and, and beyond. Right. And, in, and the faculty are so committed and the staff, the students so driven. It's a wonderful place. Yeah, easy to do your job almost, right? It, when you have is, people like is. that working so hard. That is right. Before we get into 90 by 30, your, your program that we're going to talk about, a few personal notes. ¿Qué parte de Puerto Rico? Bayamón. Bayamón. Originalmente. El tapón de Bayamón. <laughs> en el tapón de Bayamón, eh, pero pasé la mayor parte de mi vida en Mayagüez. Oh, okay, all righty. Todavía tiene familia. Todavía tengo familia. Okay. Eh, lamentablemente están pasando, como yeah. todos sabemos. Tough time. Tough yeah. times, uh, but they're they're doing well. My mom and my oldest son were able to join us just last week. Okay. Good. Um, so moving forward. So they're here safe and sound. That's right. Okay. Well, keep uh, Puerto Rico in your thoughts and prayers, as I'm as I'm sure you have there. Yes. Uh, I was looking at your bio, and one of the things that I think you said you're most proud of is that you have a history of of listening to the students and the path forward is based largely on what they tell you. What have the students at Lehman shared with you as you formulated the career path for them? Well, the students and, and the faculty and staff actually, also the members of the community, they recognize that Lehman um, does a lot to improve their lives, mm -hmm. um, not only those of the students, but also their families and the community they serve. Yeah. And so that if we were able to do more of that, okay. if we were able to scale up our efforts, um, we would be not only advancing the mission that we have for Lehman College and the City University of New York, yes. um, but really impacting the lives of so many future generations of Bronxites. 90 by 30 is what you've called your new, your new plan. Yes. 90, what's the 94, what's the 34? Explain so, it to me. Of course. So we are looking to double the number of degrees by the year 2030. If uh -huh. we did nothing different, we would produce 45,000 degrees, which would be a huge um, uh, of huge impact to the Bronx, but mm -hmm. we want to do 90,000. So it's 90,000 degrees by the year 2030, 90 by 30. And I think you said you'd like to increase the number of high quality degrees and credentials at Lehman. Without getting too between the lines, it almost makes it sounds like the degrees earned previously at Lehman were not high quality. Explain what you're thinking there. They, are very, they are very high quality. The fact is that just recently Lehman College was ranked fourth in the country mm -hmm. for its ability to propel low-income students to the middle class and beyond. So that speaks to the quality. What we're saying when we, that we want to continue that yes. is that many times people feel that if you're scaling up that you will lose quality. Yes. And we're not going to do that. We are saying we're going to double the number of degrees and we're going to ensure that they are continue to be high quality. And oh, by the way, that we will be measuring high quality in terms of the market value of mm -hmm. those degrees. Can our students get good, high-paying jobs or get into uh, prestigious graduate programs to, to continue, continue their, studying? Their education. Y your answer kind of takes me to the next question that I had. Doing what you want to do requires student enrollment, additional student enrollment. And we'll get into that, mm -hmm. how you plan to accomplish that in just a second. But how do you move forward with additional enrollment? Yes, without minimizing the standards, if you will, that would allow more students to be on campus? Well, th what you do is you do strategic enrollment management. It's not only about the number of students that you bring in, but also the services that you provide to them while they're going through school. Por ejemplo. So, por ejemplo, tenemos que asegurarnos de que tenemos las clases que los estudiantes necesitan para graduarse okay. en los horarios que ellos pueden asistir a esa. So they need the classes that they, that they need to move forward. Okay. Right. Um, they need the, uh, clear advising, eh, personas que les puedan 
puedan orientar sobre no solamente qué cursos deben de tomar, pero qué ayudas hay disponibles, uh -huh. no solamente financieras, pero también de tutorías, también de oportunidades de empleo uh -huh. eh, que pueden tener durante sus estudios, uh -huh. so, uh, internships, yes. so that they can then uh, not only learn on the job, but also have experience for, so that when they graduate, they can get uh, into the workforce. What's the enrollment there at Lehman now, roughly? Well, Roughly 14,000 students. 14,000. So you'd like to double it. Okay, roughly 30. Well, not, we won't double the enrollment necessarily. Okay. We'll double the number of degrees. So no, okay. that's a combination of growing enrollment mm -hmm. and growing or uh, increasing the graduation rate. What's the percentage of Latino students, roughly? If About you know. 50%. 50%. Uno de cada dos estudiantes en Lima son Latinos. Wow. And, and is it the same way in, in terms of faculty and staff also? The what? faculty is fairly diverse. It's uh -huh. not quite that ratio, um, but as the City University of New York and so many other institutions across the country we're working to diversify. Okay. Um, when we come back, let's talk money because I think you're going to need additional funding to do what you want to do. So let's talk about how you'll move forward in terms of generating the dollars to accomplish the mission. More when we come back. Stay with us. We'll continue our discussion with the new president of Lehman College. Cuando regresemos, stay tight. Welcome back to Tiempo. Lehman College has a new president, and he just unveiled an ambitious new education plan aimed at doubling the number of hard-earned quality degrees all by the year 2030. Here with us this morning, the president, the new president of Lehman College, Jose Luis Cruz. 90 by 30, was that an original concept, or did in your travels you see bits and pieces of that working in other places, and you said, you know what, that'll work in the Bronx too? You know, there, for many years now, colleges and universities across the country have started to look at the importance of not only opening their yeah. doors to more students, but more importantly, to making sure that those students succeed. So there have been efforts across the country mm -hmm. to try to formulate, articulate bold, bold goals yeah. uh, to guide the work. And so after spending many hours talking to Lehman faculty, staff, and students, and knowing the history of Lehman College, mm -hmm. it was a no-brainer. It was a no-brainer to, to articulate a challenge, a bold challenge that would uh, make sure that Lehman really impacts more people mm -hmm. and expands its reach uh, even broader. So it stresses the importance of, of having to do this, right. not, and, and, not and just wanting to. Exactly, and, and, and the importance is uh, an important topic to talk about. Um, while the Bronx is trending upward and moving forward, the reality is that not all families are positioned to share in that prosperity. Yes. Um, we are among the lowest uh, country, uh, counties in the country mm -hmm. for uh, social mobility for mm -hmm. low-income students, one of the poorest counties uh, in the country. Only 28% of Bronxites, adult Bronxites, yep. have a high school degree or associate's degree or above. Um, and so there's a lot that needs to be done in order for them to be well positioned to reap the benefits of our resurgent Bronx. It, it, it sounds to me like you're hoping that the new students who come to Lehman are not just 18 to 22 year olds. We have to take care of not only yeah. the 18 to 22 years olds, but also those that are already in the workforce. Yes. The parents the of the parents. kids that are currently in K-12. Right. Who, 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 by having a degree, would uh, open up new opportunities and new doors. Exactly. You know, if every one of the 450,000 adults in, in the Bronx that have high school but no college degree were to get a bachelor's degree, mm -hmm. they would earn $6 billion more in income. Wow. They would contribute $2.8 billion more mm -hmm. in taxes. 57,000 would be out of poverty. Tens of thousands would have health care and not depend on that, public that's assistance. That's win, win, win across the board. That's right. For sure. To do what you wanted to do, and you just use the words bold, and I would agree with you that it is, even you make no mention of the make a mention of the fact that additional focus will be required on acquiring new grants and donations. That's right. Plata. You need money to make it happen. Tell me what's being done specifically to achieve those goals, new grants and donations, to move forward with this plan. We see 90 by 30 as a value proposition for all those in the public and private sector that feel that educational attainment is a national imperative. And so we're being very um, strategic about going to potential funders mm -hmm. and saying, this is what we can do, what we aspire to do, and here's where we need your help. Recent example, the New York City uh, Mayor's Office awarded us a grant uh, to double the number of computer science uh, majors in our college. Wonderful. We received uh, secured funding to break ground on a 50,000 square foot, $53 million dollar uh, state-of-the-art nursing, teaching, and, mm -hmm. and research facility. Um, and uh, we were able to establish a public-private partnership to provide uh, certificates, workforce certificates, for those that are interested in coding, mm -hmm. software coding. Which is key. Coders. Yeah, we just had a segment on that re recently. Yes, yep. in the area of augmented and virtual reality, which is a, a very um, important area now in, and, in the field. And, and prosperous for people down the road in terms of their career. Exactly. Do you point to the fact that you've 
put your money where your mouth is by saying you've allocated $3 million in existing resources towards these strategic initiatives, if you exactly. will? Exactly. So the, the college is a, public fund, a publicly funded college. We do not have a lot of money. We do have some funds. Mm -hmm. And we have said this $3 million are available here uh, for many years of savings and I, hard I, work. I, I envision you in a big meeting with your budget <laughs> and finance people saying, we need money to move over here. Exactly. <laughs> and we say this is our equity innovation fund. And we will, over the course of this year, figure out ways to make sure that those funds serve as a seed funding mm -hmm. uh, to take us to where we need to be. You say seed funding for strategic initiatives. Give me some details. When you say initiatives, what kind of strategic initiatives are we talking about? So, for example, we have faculty in our Department of Chemistry that have uh, changed the way they teach. They mm -hmm. do what is called flipped classroom, okay. where the students actually do the homework, so to speak, in the classroom yeah. and do the lecture at home through online education. And they've shown that the pass rates in Chemistry 101 have gone from 30 percent to 80 percent. That's fantastic. So how do we take that lesson learned and apply it not only to chemistry, but also to biology, mm -hmm. to, to calculus and math, to other areas? That requires money. The, the Equity Innovation sure. Fund would help that. So safe to say that's one example of how this vision is already starting to pay off. Exactly. What works and how do we scale it? Yeah. You're off to a great start. Congratulations. Continued success in this new position and and keep us updated as you go because we, the door is always open here at Tiempo. Muchas you want to come back and talk about some of the things that are going on there, we'd, we'd love to hear it. Encantado. Okay? Gracias. Placer. Thank you so much to you at home. Muchísimas gracias. Thanks for spending part of your Sunday with us. We hope you learned something there. And remember Lehman as your son or daughter is moving through high school and considering moving on with their education. Great place to go. We'll see you next time on Tiempo.